Have you ever been in the situation that you wanted to drink uh, American wines, Californian wines, but then you realized that they were very, very expensive? Well, personally, many, many times. So in this video, I will show you top five California wine under $25 uh, with a very high quality and good uh, value. This is Michele Orbolato, a sommelier at your service. Position number five, wine number five, we have Kendall Jackson Chardonnay uh, Vintners Reserve 2018. So you can get this wine for an average price of $23-$25 uh, and this is a classic uh, California Chardonnay. So if you expect a bold Chardonnay, medium to full body Chardonnay with this uh, tropical fruit, uh, oakiness, nuttiness, that is the perfect uh, Chardonnay. So high quality, they source the uh, grapes uh, a little bit all over um, California, from Mendocino, from Santa Barbara, from Sonoma. So then they assemble the cuvee basically. And uh, it is uh, one of the best sellers in the US because it has a fair value and uh, high quality. Kendall Jackson is a quite big uh, wine that has uh, different branches all over uh, California. So let's go to see what is behind uh, this lovely Chardonnay. And here we are with the Kendall Jackson website. I wanted to show you their website. They have wine that is a little bit all over uh, the California. They are quite famous, quite big as well. I wanted to show you the wines, Vintners Reserve. And uh, here we are going with the Chardonnay here, beautiful. So American first selling Chardonnay for 26 a year. It is now, um, no wonder Winter Reserve Chardonnay is our most popular release. Um, hand uh, rafted in small vinyl loss throughout the entire winemaking process. Our grapes from California, cool coastal growing regions um, are sourced basically. So I wanted to show you uh, the vineyard, so uh, cool coastal vineyard, Monterey country, Santa Barbara, Mendocino and the Sonoma county and here they give the percentages. And here are some of the um, flavoring notes, as I mentioned, fruity, smooth, slightly spicy, this medium body, I would say toward full body wine is a crowd pleaser. Uh, still one of the best Chardonnay with the broad California label designation. It offers delicious peach, ginger and vanilla flavors, so oakiness, a little bit of buttery note as well, and good balance between ripeness and crispness. So if you like the Chardonnay bowl from uh, California, this is a classic, a must that you have to try. So in here, the uh, website, I wanted to show you the drink shop, global brands deliver worldwide that is a nice uh, um, website that uh, gets uh, uh, basically delivered wherever you are in the world, almost wherever you are in the world, uh, uh, wines from all over the world. So it is uh, very, very nice. I really recommend you. For instance, uh, quite all of the wines we are talking today from California, uh, you just select a red wine US and then you will find the wines that, we, that I'm talking about uh, today. So very, very nice, very, very useful. Uh, uh, website. So wine number four, in position number four, we have a Sauvignon by Frogs uh, Slips from Napa Valley, from Rutherford AVA. So one of the best uh, AVA of uh, Napa in uh, general. So it is uh, generally more famous for the Cabernet Sauvignon, but Frog Slip is an outstanding uh, wine that is uh, very, very dedicated to super quality uh, uh, wines. So I selected this Sauvignon because it is a very, very nice, very, very very polished, very, very refined with this uh, stone uh, fruit, this uh, goose, uh, berry and lovely, lovely crispness in the palate. And you can get uh, this uh, wine for an average price of $23, $25. Uh, um, so uh, perfect with uh, fish, uh, perfect with uh, all uh, light uh, dishes in, uh, in general. And if you are a Sauvignon lover, this is a very, very good uh, wine that you should uh, try from California. So then 
you can enjoy also to compare which are the differences between maybe a Sauvignon from California compared to a Sauvignon from Loire Valley from uh, Sancerre or Polifumé. So let's go to see what's behind this uh, label. And here we are with the Frog Sleep uh, uh, website, uh, a beautiful uh, winery, winemaking approach. So believing that the grape vine should be grown in healthy soil. They come from a route for one of the best AVA in all Napa, but I would say in all America and California for sure. They produce, they are quite famous for the Cabernet, but they produce also the Sauvignon Blanc, very, very nice. And I'm gonna show you now, here we go, clean, fresh, minerally, transparent view into the soil of uh, Route 4. Um, made entirely from dry farm and certified organically grown grapes. I forgot to mention before, but it is fully uh, organic from our estate vineyards in uh, Route 4. Our Sauvignon Blanc is then vinified in a way that allows the wine to retain the purity and distinctiveness of this noble variety. So if you are enjoying the video and uh, you like uh, the channel, subscribe to the channel, smash the like uh, button and click the notification bell so you won't miss any new video coming out. If you haven't yet subscribed, what can you expect from this channel? So I go over to all the wines from all over the world, try to understand which are the best expression, which are the best expression also in terms of uh, value as uh, this uh, video. We try to understand which are also the best uh, spirit whiskies from all over the world. We try to uh, understand how to enjoy this wine at uh, their uh, best. So if this is the channel you are looking for, subscribe to the channel. Thank you. So wine number three, position number three, we couldn't uh, not have uh, the Zinfandel from California. The best expression comes from uh, Sonoma uh, Valley, especially from Alexander Valley and Dry Creek Valley. So I've got this one that is Segesio. And Segesio is a very famous um, winery in uh, Sonoma Valley in California for Zinfandels. Indeed, uh, they are Italian immigrants and uh, they basically uh, cultivated this uh, lovely Zinfandel or Primitivo. And you can get this a price for an average price of $24, $25, maximum $20. Six dollar, excuse me, this over uh, one dollar. Uh, so, um, raspberry, a little bit of structure, uh, gemminess, it is rich in alcohol, but you don't uh, feel it. Uh, in general, the, the infidel and primitivo have uh, this uh, feature with a bold uh, text of a very mellow, very, very elegant. Uh, beautiful with uh, lamb, uh, pork uh, uh, or pastas in uh, general. So let's go to see what's behind this um, label because it is very, very exciting. And here we are with the Segesio family vineyard established in the end of the 800s. So they have a beautiful, beautiful Sauvignon. They are famous for the Sauvignon Blanc, but look the valley here. Uh, the Sonoma, the, the Alexander Valley, uh, beautiful, definitely, absolutely a place uh, to visit. Old vines, uh, high quality concentration for the um, uh, Zinfandel in here. Uh, they are really, really take care of the vines, look at beautiful uh, grapes. And uh, let's go to see the uh, wines. The wine I'm talking about is the Zinfandel Sonoma 20. Here they say $26, but you can get it for $25 easily. So with a bouquet of cedar, spice, sun, ripened blackberries, our Sonoma Zinfandel makes a strong first impression. Bold and rich texture on the palate with a nice uh, uh, melon. Um, intensity, purity of fruit, reflect the note of wild uh, blueberries, plum, uh, black currant. A light dusting of tannins provides structure and a long finish that is boiled by fresh, uh, juicy acidity. Beautiful, beautiful um, Zinfandel that I hope you have the chance to try and I put the link in the description below for you. Position number two, wine number two, we have Au Bon Climat Chardonnay. So this is one of the best Chardonnay from Santa Barbara, from all California, and it has an incredible price. So you can get this one for an average price of $23, uh, $25. So compared to the previous Chardonnay that we have seen, it is a little bit more elegant, more refined, more polished. There is also a little bit more minerality, and uh, it is a more uh, long, 
long in your palate, so it is uh, it stays uh, longer. It has a la nice uh, persistence. So you have all the classic uh, tropical notes, uh, but not overwhelming, not too punchy, a little bit of nuttiness due to the malolactic fermentation and the oakiness. But everything is uh, well integrated, and it is not uh, too punchy. Maybe is it a little bit uh, more, for instance, the uh, Kendall Jackson uh, one. So this one is more. It is closer to the uh, Burgundy style, to give you uh, an example, and it comes from uh, Santa Barbara. It is in, we are in the central south part of California, and someone can think, oh my god, that is is hot. No, it is cool because they have all the uh, breezes, all the winds coming from the Pacific Ocean that cool down uh, the region. It is, it is actually quite cool and cold with the fogs uh, as well. So let's go to see what's behind uh, this fantastic Chardonnay. And here we are with Aubon Clima, this lovely winery in Santa Barbara. Um, beautiful, very famous. Um, I wanted to show you the people behind this uh, label and uh, he's the owner, he's the, the basically the, the guy that uh, um, reached the perfection for this uh, Chardonnay. They also produce uh, Pinot Noir, but look at the, the valley, how beautiful it is. And um, we are going to see now the wines. And here we are with the Chardonnay uh, from Alamos Vineyard, a very fruity forward and untius. This Chardonnay is uh, rich and complex with a tropical coconut pineapple character but all well integrated. It shows abundant fruit, oak and viscosity along with a nice mineral component. The one that I was mentioning before, the crispiness and the minerality that is in the soil is found in this uh, wine. Beautiful, enjoyable now or be rewarded also with future further uh, aging. So very, very nice to uh, source. So a little bit of on the vineyard. It is uh, Los Alamos uh, Valley that is a sandwich between Santa Ines Valley and Santa Maria Valley in uh, the Santa Barbara where there is this cool air and breeze coming from the uh, oceans. Um, <clears throat> The best grapes are from these gentle hills, uh, slopes, and uh, then they source the grape completely uh, from Solomon Hills, where there is this uh, valley, basically. And who is in position number one, which is the winner? Well, we couldn't not have a Cabernet Sauvignon from uh, California. And one of my favorite Cabernet Sauvignon without breaking uh, your wallet is uh, by Frey Brothers. They produce uh, this very elegant, very, very nice Cabernet Sauvignon from Sonoma Valley, from Alexander Valley, the hot part of Sonoma. And it is a uh, super, super, with this black currant, with this uh, violet, with this uh, leathery note and uh, spiciness, but extremely elegant, not punchy. Is uh, it has 35, 13.5 uh, ABV, so very very elegant. I, I do recommend it to. Uh, let it breathe a bit before to opening, decant it, if you have a decant or just a jug it's uh, fine and uh, it is very 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 nice, absolutely. Let's go to see what is behind uh, this uh, lovely Cabernet Sauvignon from Frey uh, Brothers. And here we are with this lovely Cabernet Sauvignon from uh, uh, by Frey Brothers, uh, very velvety, very elegant. Uh, so the source in Alexander Valley, it is one of the hot part of Sonoma. Uh, hot day, but cooled by coastal breezes is nice, so to preserve the aromas and the acidity, we select our grapes from these uh, best uh, hillside uh, vineyards in Alexander Valley, with a unique, unique combination of uh, soil and climate work together to create an unparalleled complexity and flavor. The Cabernet Sauvignon Sauvignon opens with the aromas of cassis, crushed berries. On the palate, flavors of blackberry, raspberry, cedar, tobacco, and uh, framed by firm, velvety, and long, elegant finish. Velvety tannin, so that is the secret. That's why I love this uh, uh, Chardonnay, this um, <laughs> Cabernet Sauvignon. And um, so, Absolutely, you drink super well and you don't spend uh, too much. So really, really worth it to try. They also produce uh, other um, uh, wines, but uh, in my opinion, their Cabernet is absolutely outstanding, under $25. Uh, 
And so as promised, I wanted to give you a few general tips to how to recognize a good value uh, uh, California wine. So first of all, you need to know a little bit the uh, best wine region. So uh, source wines from Santa Barbara. Santa Barbara is a very, um, the very, very good uh, region that produces a lovely Pinot Noir and uh, Chardonnay and some Codulon varieties. Then uh, go to Sonoma and Napa Valley. Napa Valley is quite expensive, as we can see. So there you are more likely at least over $30 if you want to drink uh, decently. But, but there are some exceptions, as we have seen from the sleep. And the Sonoma instead is a little bit more approachable and we you can source there uh, Zinfandel and also Pinot Noir and Chardonnay but even here stay focused on the, the uh, price. Uh, Vulta Void for instance uh, some from central uh, part of uh, uh, California um, there are some nice wine regions coming up like Santa Lucia like Santa Cruz is very famous as well but they are overall quite expensive so these are my best recommendation for you. And so now let's do a quick uh, recap. So we started from position number five, where we have seen a very nice classic Chardonnay, bold and oaky, punchy Chardonnay by Kendall Jackson in position number five, lovely with this nuttiness, tropical fruit and oakiness. Then in position number four, we have seen a very elegant and polished Sauvignon Blanc by a Frog's Sleep from Napa Valley from Rutherford, one of the best AVA uh, in all America and uh, they produce this very great uh, uh, Sauvignon Blanc very uh, bright and polished and crispy. Then we have seen in position number three one of my favorite uh, uh, wine that is Zinfandel by Segesio, these Italian immigrants that they went there to produce super quality uh, Zinfandel or Primitivo with this very geminous and nice red fruits and a little bit of uh, high alcohol but you don't feel it don't worry beautiful 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 and then in position number two we have seen a super elegant chardonnay by Eau Bon Climat it is a very elegant super polished super refined with a nice minerality and crispiness uh, chardonnay and in position number one we could not have a great Cabernet Sauvignon in this case by Frey uh, Brothers a classic uh, bold, uh, even if not too high alcohol cab uh, that they couldn't uh, miss in uh, uh, um, top five uh, wines from California under $25. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found uh, value and good recommendation. Don't forget that I put all the links to these uh, uh, wine and wineries and where also to buy this wine in the description below. And let me know if you tried is uh, wine and which is your uh, favorite in the comments uh, here under the video so if you haven't subscribed yet remember to subscribe smash the like button and i'll see you in the next video thank you